Good afternoon and welcome to Andre McCoy Stadium on the campus of New Bedford High School where this afternoon the New Bedford Cable Network is proud to present boys high school soccer action. It's the homestanding Whalers of New Bedford High taking on the Brockton Boxers. Joe Cabral joined by my partner Chris Santos for the action here from Andre McCoy Stadium on the campus of New Bedford High School. Just underway, Chris, first 30 seconds of play and... New Bedford and Brockton, former Big Three rivals, meeting here on a rainy day, but at the turf field. So generally, the field conditions, I think, Chris, will be okay. Yep, supposed to be played on the grass, and then we got the call around noontime and said we're switching to the turf. Rain kind of subsided around 3 o'clock. Field's still in good condition, and Brockton showed up, and we're in there white and black, and New Bedford obviously in the red, home red, and the white trim. As we are one minute into this one. So New Bedford moving from right to left and Brockton left to right. Goalkeepers this afternoon for New Bedford, number one, Ethan Ramos. And for Brockton, it's number zero, Brandon Deleuze. New Bedford coming into this one at 4-1-2 and two on the season and Brockton at 0-2-1. Oh, We'll keep our eye on the field conditions, but as mentioned, since it's a turf field, it drains very well, and usually you don't see the play affected at all when it's like this, uh, a light rain, and uh, for the majority of the day, it has been raining like this or drizzling, so conditions seem to be fine. You certainly can't see anything from up here, Chris, on the field as far as puddles or any water really coming off during the early play here this afternoon? Nope, everything looks good, all in good condition as we get the kick in from Connor Silver, and he'll try to advance it down the left sideline off the foot, unfortunately, of Sanchez, and he'll go out of bounds and turn over to Brockton. Remember, no throw in, so Brockton to play it in here. That's number 11, Anthony Rodericks for Brockton to play it in. Brockton playing it here near sideline. That's number 13 for the boxers, Derson Barros, who had to go off his foot and out of play. So New Bedford Silva to play it in. Silva gets it right back here. The official blows the whistle and calls for a foul here against Brockton. Not sure if it was just a violation of the space or it was a, a foul. Here's Silva. We'll play it middle of the field. Be interesting to see, Joe, if uh, New Bedford does their north to south instead of their east to west and a lot more passing instead of trying to can completely, you know, ball control all the way through. It usually does not affect them negatively against the subpar teams, yep. but your real issue is the teams that play well. Here's a ball played yep. right side of the field. That'll be an offside. Yep. They were looking Edson. for the Whalers, Edson Moreno, down that far side. But offside, so Brockton with it. Remember, four quarters, 20 minutes each. Middle of the field now, Brockton with it. Boxers far side. New Bedford with some possession. Brockton usually plays at north and south as opposed to New Bedford's possession game. Jeffrey Pyers. We'll do the honors here. Official's doing a good job, Joe, of really setting each player once the ball goes for a kick in and making sure that they're distance away. So that's, uh, so that's far, been good so far. Yeah, that has been good so far. We've seen a lot of discrepancies oh, in yes. the way rules have been mm -hmm. enforced. You need a minimum of six feet. <laughs> and so the ball played back to the goalkeeper here for New Bedford. That's Ramos. He'll play it. New Bedford with a chance here. Now Here's he where yeah, the Whalers have to work the ball ahead a bit. That's Sanchez trying to track it down, but Brockton's Deleuze able to play it far side. No score, about four minutes in here in the first quarter of play. Brockton in the road white, and New Bedford in the home red with white numerals and white trim. Quick foul there on Pius, so... Watched a little professional <laughs> soccer last night between uh, 
the, obviously the baseball game yep. a bit. And what you saw was such a dramatic difference when you can play the game the normal way as opposed to what we've seen here. Oh, Chris, yeah. It's just really unfortunate because it, it affects the scoring opportunities significantly. And we've seen scoring way down here in the games <laughs> we've done. Well, you see on that one there, Rodriguez couldn't handle it. He tried to chest it down, couldn't head it down, remember? So that kind of eluded him, and New Bedford will get it. This is the Whalers' number 10, Barboza, plays at middle of the field, and a foul is called against Brockton. New Bedford's number three, Da Costa, will try to change the field, get it far side, now play a long ball here, and I, and I like that strategy under these types of conditions. New Bedford trying to track it down, but they'll be called for a foul. Yeah, good call by the official there, saying he moved with his left arm to push him off. That is the right call, and but he was right on top of it. Still like that approach. Get the ball down the field quickly and see if you can get some opportunities. I want to welcome all our Facebook fans who are out there watching this one. Getting the stream on a rainy day here in New Bedford. It has subsided, but it is cold and raw. And Chris, we'll have the opportunity of bringing to our Facebook viewers tomorrow live volleyball action. Our match yesterday that was scheduled on the Tuesday was changed to a road match. So we'll pick up that game tomorrow, West Bridgewater yep. and New Bedford from New Bedford High School, girls volleyball action. Right, first time taking a look at them all season and see how Coach Longo has those girls as they get ready to finish their season. But um, I'm looking forward to that one, Joe. It'll yeah. be fun. Yeah, we haven't seen nope. or been indoors at all. No, so we haven't. It'll be nice to yep. uh, see how volleyball is working out here. Brockton were able to put it out of play, and Anthony Rodericks, number 11, able to do so there. Well, he was going to go back to his goalie, and then when he didn't kick it too good, he went back and said, oh, I better get this yeah. out of bounds before trouble really happens. And there's very, even more than ever, putting the ball out of play is just a very low-risk type of play because there, the throw-ins, like from there, you would have been able to find a player who mm -hmm. could throw it into the box, serve essentially as a – corner kick but now you can't and even when you play it in you have to play it along the ground and so you need one pass before someone can even try to get yep. it into the area it's really affected the scoring chances here's a here's a ball that is played Ooh. ahead again chris classic example of a header was required there but you could not get there right. and you try to just time it with your your boot instead of getting there earlier and using your head ball skip through and, and i like how new bedford joe set that up better uh, from out of bounds on the kick-in, and they got Silver involved in a quick pass, and he tried to put it in front. Then they kicked it out of bounds again, and this time he went to uh, uh, Ramos, and then he passed it across, and they almost got Sanchez to put one in. So I, I like how New Bedford has settled down a little bit uh, on their kick-ins from what we've seen in the and past. And there again, that's what you need to do. That needs to be the strategy. More balls into the area. The number of balls in the area in the games we've done have been, has been very low. And so you just you don't score if you're not in the penalty area. Yep. You need to be in the box. And New Bedford is adjusting here a bit. Chris, we have a replay. Yeah, let's check it out here as we see. No, nope, that one's not going to do it. That one had gone to the goalie and he cleared it right out. But we'll go back and maybe we'll see it again afterwards. Middle of the field. That's New Bedford's number 18, Barboza. Played it far side. Ball goes into what we would normally call into touch, but it is, of course, not into touch because you can't touch it, but you play it in and Brockton with possession. Yeah, that was Pai is looking for Marino, couldn't find him and went out. So Brockton possession as they try to move over midfield. Brockton here and missed pass. So New Bedford's Da Costa gets it here near side. That's number 19 for New Bedford, Romario Ramos. Played the middle of the field, got it to Rui Tavares. Tavares tried to go far side, but again, that passing game intercepted by Brockton. I like what he was looking for there because Mendes was uh, cheating up, and if that gets by him, that's going to be all alone going down on that one. And that's how you play it into space here. Here's a chance for Brockton as they were able to get it along this near side. And a very aggressive Silva uh, knocks that out, so that will be a corner for... The boxes, so the first corner of the game. 
Goes to Brockton. I believe that was number 18, Mendez. Yep. So now Brockton will bring down Rodericks, number and, 11. And Lopes, number 14. And Lopes, 14. So that's how you get a corner kick. The ball's up in the air, far post, punch there by Ramos. And Brockton not able to come up with a scoring chance there. New Bedford able to turn it away, far side of the field. Ball not handled there. New Bedford to play it in. Under 10 minutes, under halfway here in the first period. No score. Glad you're joining us once again from Andre McCoy Field. On the turf here in New Bedford. Brockton with it, possession far side of the pitch. Got to play it along that left edge of the area. New Bedford allows it to run beyond the goal line. It'll be a goal kick for the Whalers. One of the cost of strength right there. Uses that body to not make a offensive play, a get by him to get to the ball, and then he just lets it roll out of the goal line and says, okay, well, we have ourselves now a free kick, and here he is with the ball. Here's the cost of play here near side. He's looking for number 19, oh. Ramos, Romario Ramos. Could not come up with it, so it'll be Rodericks, number 11, for Brockton, Anthony Rodericks playing it in. They're trying to go along this near side. Not a good play there by Baptiste. Thought he was going to, you know, cross it a little bit. He, he was looking no. for Durson, yeah. Barrows. Barrows could not get there. Here's New Bedford's number 15, Silva, lost it. Yeah. Now middle of the field, ball played ahead, chested down. Again, another Ooh, ball that normally would heading, be yes. headed. Cannot do so. Middle of the field, Brockton again with it. Ball rolling back beyond Reynoso, Gennaro Reynoso. New Bedford had a chance there for a break, could not execute it. Brockton able to play it ahead. Foul is called against Brockton. So New Bedford with the indirect free kick. They'll bring up number three, Da Costa, to handle it. And you want to get the ball as deep as you can here, I think. Played it ahead. He was looking to try to hit a seam and find Sanchez. Was stopped by Brockton at the defense. They'll get it here to Sanchez. He looked to play it far side. Check that. It was number eight, Rui Tavares. New Bedford comes away with it. Tavares got it to Sanchez, and then it's taken away by Brockton. All that shoulder from yeah, Silver on that one. Kind of chested forward. Yeah, used his I like it. Shoulder there. Sure. And, and that's Brockton's Deleuze, Brandon Deleuze playing it ahead. And it goes beyond that far side line. So with seven minutes left here in the first quarter, New Bedford to play it in. And there have been really no scoring chances. And that's been obviously the, the most frustrating part, I'm sure, for the squads here in 2020. The reduced number of scoring chances because of the rule changes. Mm -hmm. The ball played middle of the field. Comes here near side at Silva. Connor Silva plays it here near side. Got it to Ramos. Ramos played it back. Trying to work it here. Got it to number Go 10, right Barbosa. Oh. Again, a little bit I too much. I think he was trying to. A little bit too much there. Yeah. Dribbling. Get it middle of the field. There was a shot that was blocked. And it dribbles to the goalkeeper, Deleuze. Maybe one move too many on that one, Joe. Yes. Because he might have had him available down the left side. Have to move the ball quickly. Played far side. Brockton will play it back, and it'll go beyond the goal line. So I think that was Brockton who played it. It would be a corner kick. If that's the case, mm, I not guess seeing not. That. No, they're saying goal kick. Looks like Brockton played it back. So, Viega coming in, number 22. He's checking in the ball game. Joseph Viega. Yep. Goalkeeper Deleuze will handle the goal kick. They say it was off New Bedford. Yep. This is Deleuze, middle of the field. Ball runs up far sideline. Really no scoring opportunities for either squad here early on. 15 minutes in, though, into this yep. first half. And the first quarter is a ball played far side. Brockton with it. They're going to try to change the field here. Got it middle of the field. That was number 13, Barrows. 
trying to play it. Could not. Again, the ball goes back. That's Barrows. Tried to chest it down. You know, said got him on the arm. You're going to say he played it. He's trying to say it was my shoulder, yeah. but the official said no. Yeah. That's your bicep. That's your arm. <laughs> I'll tell you, this official closest to us, he's been right on his game. He's done everything right right now. Is the cost of four New Bedford. Oh, it played it nicely ahead. They're trying to get number 19, Ramos, there. He could not, but like that kind of play. That's how you're going to get scoring opportunities. Play the ball into space. Rockton played it here near side, looking for Barros. Runs beyond the sideline. Yeah, see how Silva cut in front right there of Barros? Just shielded him off. Absolutely. Nice job, but he, you know, they were side by side. Used his speed, got in front, and gets the kicking. Silva. Play the middle of the field. Yep. Tried to get it to number nine. Sanchez could not. Far side. Now Brockton and New Bedford takes it away, but a foul is called oh, yeah, against the Whalers. Umpires. So both goalies quiet, Joe. One little corner kick, and that's about all we've seen where no. Ethan Ramos had to actually punch it out. Yeah, really no significant scoring chances here. Ball played ahead and a violation is called. Foul is called against Brockton. Yep. So, New Bedford. With the indirect free kick. Acosta's been handling those. Plays it ahead. After one touch, he'll get it. Silva here had it blocked and taken away. Brockton trying to track it down. That was number 17. Marrera could not get there. New Bedford's Ethan Ramos yeah, played hurry. it far side. Had to get rid of it. Could not use his hands because it was played back by New Bedford. So had to play it beyond that far <clears> sideline. <throat> Three minutes left. First quarter action. Yeah, Silva's kick got deflected and it went backwards. And it went to the Costa who tried to get it to his goalkeeper. And the next thing you know... He was being pressured and had to get rid of it. Chest it down good there. Good job there. I'll tell you, Silva's had a good first uh, period here. We've called his name quite a few times, Joe. 15, Connor yeah. Silva has played well. Here's Brockton with it. This is number 11, Rodericks for Brockton. They'll play it ahead, get it to Barrows. Barrows tries to chest it down. So it hit his arm. Totally against your instincts, Chris. You're, the ball's up there at head height, and you're kind of like waiting yeah, for and it to come you, down. You're trying to get that chest your in chest your arm. You're trying just to moves. move it it's forward. Tough. Yeah. And the official is saying no. Ooh. There's a ball that go, rolls right through and gives New Bedford one an on opportunity. One. This is Sanchez. Works to the edge of the area. You need to get across here. This is where New Bedford has a tendency. Maybe a little too much. Got it back to Silva. Now you've lost your angle entirely on on getting it to goal, and Brockton able to, to clear. Sometimes just a little too much. Yeah, in this kind of a field, compared to maybe some of the larger European fields, you see a lot more one-on-one. -on -one. Here, it's kind of tough, because now here comes uh, a second or third person, and they're right on top of you, and you, you got to move it quick. And when you have the ball wide, that's, as far as passing, it's a better opportunity when the ball's wide like this than when it's in the middle of the field. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, because you create angles. So when you have it wide and deep, play it quickly across. Oh, Brockton here with some fancy Dan play from Fernandes. Isalder Fernandes for Brockton, number 23, played it here near side, uh, far side, I should say. Brockton still with it, trying to work into some space. Ball played ahead in the... Both teams have been on it defensively here with under two minutes left in the first quarter. Really nothing happening offensively at all. You usually don't make those kind of moves around your own 20-yard line. No. <clears throat> That's usually more midfield to offensive zone. but A bit risky, but yeah. he got away with it. So as we're under two minutes, maybe a couple more possessions, and that should end that first period. Far side of the field, New Bedford with it. And the foul is called no. against Brockton. Limited attendance, as we've discussed during earlier matches. I believe that each family gets a couple of passes. Yep. And that's about it. So usually we're seeing somewhere between 20 and 50 fans in attendance. 
Wrapping up this first quarter of play. Majority of the play has stayed on the left side of the field for Brockton, and that'll do it. Yeah, That's it the is. first quarter, Chris. So usually teams are more right-handed by nature, and you would think you'd play it to the right side of the field. So you'd imagine Brockton having it to the near side and then maybe New Bedford to the far side. But it's been more Brockton on the far side of the pitch. No score after a quarter of play. We'll take a brief break here between quarters as teams come to the sideline, able to remove their mask and get some Oxygen. Game has been played, Joe, already in Brockton, where New Bedford came away with a 2-1 victory the first time these two teams played. So I'm sure Coach Masaraco has an idea of the style and the system that uh, Brockton runs, and he would figure out, uh, you know, what to do. And so he'll talk during this first period, as you can see, very... Well, we can't really hear him, but he's very animate about the, he's moving the hands and he's uh, getting his players uh, pumped for period number two. But, uh, you know, just a little bit of extra strategy that he wants to get involved out there. And as for Brockton, they'll sit down, get some water, hear coach talking with them, and uh, get ready for a second period action. But I didn't think Brockton played that bad. No, they did not. In the first period. No, that was a good first quarter. Yeah. Very evenly played. Yeah. So you can see lost the, in their initial meeting two to one. You can tell that the teams are, are very evenly matched. And, um, you know, again, with the scoring opportunities reduced, teams, it's going to make teams closer. I mean, let's let's be fair. When When you have more scoring opportunities, the skill level, will play to your favor a bit. When you start to have a, a game, a style of game that reduces scoring opportunities, it's going to keep uh, the matches closer. Yep. So you would anticipate this would be pretty uh, close from start to finish. Really nothing there, Chris. You mentioned the one cross that had to get punched out, but it was not, there, there wasn't a lot of danger there. And we really didn't see anything on goal at all in that first 20 minutes of play. So both teams will head back. They'll switch sides. Ronaldo Ramos see as checked in for New Bedford, number 20, along with number 17, Angel Orozco. He's in there. So as Deleuze will be on our right now and Ramos will be on our left, we're ready for second period action. And here we go. New Bedford in 4-4-2 alignment. Yep. Same for Brockton here early on in this second quarter. Ball played ahead far side of the field. Brockton with it. Now moving from right to left. New Bedford left to right, obviously. Ball played ahead looking for number 17, Marrera. Gratian Marrera could not get there. Ball goes beyond the sideline. The cost of a little gimpy there. I don't know if he got stepped on, if he got kicked in the heel. Lights on here early today, just simply because of the day being so overcast. Brockton with the edge oh, yeah. of the area, trying to chest it down, had a hard time getting there. We're changing clocks this weekend too, is that correct, Joe? Yeah, and yeah. that, that so. means um, it'll be getting darker even earlier. Oh, yeah. Lights will be on fast. So let's check out and see what happened to Ian the cost today. He just got stepped on from behind, a little clip there. And you can see him uh, checking that right leg as we watch him now. But he made that kick in, got the pass. Oh, ball played nicely ahead. New Bedford with a chance. That was Orozco, who, for some reason, instead of just running onto the ball and continuing forward, wanted to do like a scissor move yep. and, and stop and let the defender go past it. And then come back on the inside. Yeah, I mean... Really, it look, looked like he, I mean, he had the advantage. Continue with the speed going forward. Take so, a look at it, Chris. Look, he, had, he, had a, he had the ball yeah, on side. Yeah, see, I tried to make that scissor on to, the back heel. He needed to just continue forward. Instead, tried to mm -hmm. put the brakes on, let the defender go past. Ball chested down there by New Bedford, but Brockton's right there. Yeah, good job again Everyone by Everyone back. Here's another ball played ahead and chested beyond the goal line. 
Another good play by Silva. Got the chest. Then he got possession of it. Thought he was going to lose it. He regains it. Does a nice little chip pass over the D. And it will eventually turn into a corner kick. Uh, which is the first one for New Bedford. Here in the first half. Louise Neto, number 21, is there for the Whalers. Looks like they're going to play it to him and allow him to do the, cor the corner. Because remember, you've got to play it on the ground initially on corner kicks, which they should have just revised that rule by now, Chris. It, may it makes no sense. Yeah, so they kick the ball through the legs. Yeah, and they then kick the ball like five inches to, to get the ball in the air. Brockton... <laughs> Back there defensively, that's New Bedford's number 20, Ramos, Ronaldo Ramos. Oh, Ramos. no, that's out of bounds. That's going to be a corner. It's another corner kick. Yep, it looks that went like over the goal line. Ramos will be there. So the first time they went through the legs, Joe, and instead of going across, they try to keep it close. Let's see if they go through the legs this time, but they go into the box a little bit more. Yeah, and I like to go to the far post, Chris. Yeah. We've said many times, that's how you create angles. Sure. The short side, much more difficult. <clears throat> referees uh, talking to the defense and keeping the distance making sure 10 feet required yep. here we go again it has to be on the ground initially mm -hmm. so that's why this still configuration it. still holding up play here okay there we go again New Bedford Taking a long time. That's the one you want. There, there's a ball that's played edge of the area and it's cleared. And Brockton tries to get it out here near side. As Brockton's number 22, Vega, could not do anything with it. Loose ball uh -oh. in the area. There was an opportunity it looked like for Ooh. New Bedford. And a foul is called. Ooh, that looked like a comparison of the two looked together. Looked like a 50 50 ball. Yeah. <laughs> and New Bedford in the area with possession I don't know is if we called have a replay for a foul. on that one, but that was kind of close, I thought. Let's see if we see it here, Joe. I'm going to watch this one. Yeah, they kind of clip together. Yeah, Tough to tell. Tough to tell if it's a real foul yeah, or exactly. just two players and one misses mm -hmm. it and the other one is on the ball. I mean, it's very easy to see who goes down and who hit who, but it's kind of one of those where they're both going for the ball and one player misses it, the other one finds it, and his shin happens to be in the way. So Silva just popped that one out, out of bounds as two white jerseys. We're getting close to him. Brockton playing it ahead here, two on three for the boxers. That's number 17, Marrera. Played it outside and then the cross, and it's easily handled by the goalkeeper, yeah. Ramos. Easy one there, so let's see what he does with it. Puts it down, yeah. Ethan Ramos. Okay. Nice, Ooh. Nicely done there. Got a lot on that wow, one. Wow, to lose way out. Way out, and of course from there you have to play it, and he does in the yeah. air. And Ball that went over midfield. But since yeah. it, it was Not in the run hand. of play, right? Yeah. It was in the run of play, Chris. It was fine. Yep. Ball played far side. Again, those are the kind of rules that I, I think that it's been. They've overstretched those a bit. Yeah. Ball played along that side, and now Brockton's still with it. They like to use that side of the field regardless of who's out there. Yeah, Ball they, played far side. Brockton trying to run onto one, and it looks like it goes beyond the sideline. It will be New Bedford playing it in. They like to look to Gratian Marrero a lot, number 17. That's one that they want to find. And they're going to call it for... Uh, for, for Brockton. There they are. And New Bedford thought it was there. The cost is sitting there with his hands out saying, hey, I never touched the ball. Why are they getting it? So Brockton with an opportunity here. Again, any of these chances, I like to cross the ball right immediately. Here. There you go. Played it nicely into the area. Loose ball, and it's handled by the goalkeeper. He goes a pushing... On that, too, by number 22, Vega. So the official was right there. They, yeah. I think they've both done a pretty good job. Uh-oh, now, wait a minute. Okay, let's see what's going on. Looks Could like the a, official on the far side is yeah, unhappy with no, a little bit he, of an exchange. Yeah, him and Barboza. So Barboza must have said something. And, again, you saw that ball in, in, a, in a normal year where headers are allowed. That was a beautifully oh, yeah. played ball. I mean, beautifully played. But here it just turns into really nothing as the goalkeeper is able to use his hand still and players have to try to chest it down first. Very, very hard to come up with anything. There's another ball nicely played. Oh, oh and that was well by cleared there by DaCosta. Had to get his boot up high to clear that. 
Brockton still with it, far side of the field. New Bedford now. Brockton just double teaming the Whalers Barboza. on that far sideline. Took it away from Barboza. Now New Bedford able to clear. And they'll so, say yeah. it's a foul on Brockton. Yeah. Silva says, I've had enough of this. And just cleared it out of bounds, but yeah. it was a foul on Brockton anyway. Prior so New, to Bedford, that. New Bedford yeah. with it. Right along the sideline. Nope, went out of play. So Brockton with it. About 12 and a half minutes left here in the first half. Scoreless match between New Bedford and Brockton. Chris mentioned earlier that initially, the first time these two teams met, New Bedford defeated Brockton 2-1. to one. Here's a ball that Ramos gets out here near yeah. side to Ronaldo Ramos. It was Ethan Ramos, the goalkeeper, to Ronaldo Ramos, but Brockton comes up with it. Tried to play it here to Vega. Could not get there. New Bedford's the cost they're able to clear. Works well as one of the defenders in the middle of the field. Silva and DaCosta always, always on the ball, it seems. Here's New Bedford's Vega. Uh, Brockton's Vega goes beyond the sideline. They'll say it's Brockton to play it in. Mendes, Jalen Mendes, number 18. We'll get it to Depina, it looks like. Jaden Depina, number 9. They'll play it to Depina. Mm -hmm. Depina played a, he tried to get it back, but New Bedford is there. Ruiz could not get there. Ball played middle of the field. Send it now. Played ahead, Ooh. working it to space, and that's what you needed. Yeah, just, just a little, a little too, too much yep. on it. Yeah, a little yep. too much on it, Chris, but that's the kind of play you need. <laughs> Brockton had pushed up, and New Bedford had a chance. Two on two, played into space, had an opportunity. Here's Brockton's number 14, Lopes. Now they'll play it here near side. Mendes got it to number nine, Depina. No, that's got to be a foul there. And the foul is called. <laughs> Bedford's to Costa. Looks like he wants to play it back. That's dangerous. Smartly plays it ahead instead. Got it to Ramos, Ronaldo Ramos. And Brockton able to come away with it. Just play one, just bounding around, and that's the kind of play that's dangerous. Trying to get it down far side of the field. Brockton with it. Silva there does a good job. He has played well. Yep. Boxers, again, working that far side of the pitch. Ball played ahead, goes, uh, does not go beyond the sideline. Ooh. Able to get it in front. New Bedford able to clear with DaCosta. Now another loose ball. Oh, they were trying to get it through to Marrero. Oh, yeah. They want him. They, they like to give it to him. And it was just blocked at the defense. The ball goes beyond the goal line. It'll be New Bedford with a goal kick. You saw it there, Chris. Marrero was trying to split the defense and nicely stopped there by New Bedford, not allowing him to get into space. Brockton with two substitutions coming up here. Yep. Depina, number two, checking in. Marrero checking out now. He's been active in that in this first half. Yeah, big body. Yep, for New Bedford, it's Michael Tavares. He's checking in as Neto takes a break. Our side of the field. That's New Bedford's Sanchez. Brockton's had a little bit better of the run of play here yeah, in the second quarter. I would say quarter. the possession has been more to our left than our right. Yes, it has. In, uh, in this particular period. And we've talked about that on the grass field. There's a ball crossed in front, nicely yeah. chested out by DaCosta. That was dangerous. Yeah. There's a ball again and just a little push in the yeah, back. Yeah, because he, he came behind him. Can't do that there. Yep, and they call a foul against yeah. Brockton. <laughs> so New Bedford with it. Looks like DaCosta is going to handle it. Yeah, but she's going to talk to Bob Bozen, you know, And everybody I mean, gets back. They wanted to move fast, and he, you know, the referee's got to say the time that he can do it. Here's 
Here's where yep. the ball has to be placed. Here's where you need to place that ball yep. deep to the outside. I like that ball right there. Ooh. Nicely chested down, though, by Brockton. Yep. But that was well weighted by DaCosta. Taken here by Brockton's number nine. DePino played it ahead, middle of the pitch. They try to get Good it pass. here near side. Rodericks, number eight, got it ahead. Racing toward it on the far side of the field. The boxers, but New Bedford able to clear it beyond that sideline. Under eight minutes left here, first half action. No S score. Silva was in a battle again. This time he got it up to one of his midfielders, but he, they couldn't control it and went out of bounds, so Brockton will get it. A lot of this along that far sideline. They're going to say it went off of Silva, and it'll stay with Brockton. So let's see if they do a quick pass and get it right into the box, which I think they will. There it is. Ball played to Far the corner. area, but again, you can't head it, so the ball runs almost out of bounds. Yeah. Nice, nice hustle there by Brockton, however, and I think it'll stay with Brockton. It will. That was Vega. That was nice hustle from Joseph Vega. He was looking, Joe, to try to get his left foot on it at the far post, but... Yeah, very hard. Once yep. that ball is either a little bit past you or, or hits the turf, it's going to run. You're going to have a hard time putting it down. So Brockton here to put it into play. They're, we'll try to set up an angle here to get one on net. Looks like Mendes will come over, number 18. And this is what you need here, someone that left foot, and he'll play it in front but low along the ground and handled easily by Ethan Ramos. Yeah, near post, nobody there. Good pass out here. No, nobody there. And Brockton, again, has been solid in this second quarter, Chris. Yep. Giving nothing to New one Bedford. One-on-one on one challenge ball here. Ball played ahead. That's number 17, Orozco trying to get there. Brockton able to turn it away. Shield nicely by Baptiste, number he, three. He did a nice job keeping it away from Orozco. They'll play it ahead. Ball on the field. That's New Bedford Silva, 15. Plays it far side. Whalers trying to get some offense going here. Late in this first half. Ball played ahead. And into space. Can you run onto it if you're Brockton here? But played back by DaCosta and cleared by Ramos. Again, far side of the field. The officials say play on. Player went down. No call. Whalers with it. Oh, just had it taken away. Tried to dribble by someone and had it taken right off his boot. Far side of the field. It'll be New Bedford. Big whistle that time from the official. So as the... Heading toward the five-minute... Remaining mark of this first half, scoreless match. No shots on goal, Chris, <clears throat> from either squad. Few crosses, but no shots on goal. Middle of the field, that's the Whalers number 17, Orozco. He'll play it ahead here, looking near side. Get it to number 20, Ronaldo Ramos. This way you could have continue and then cross the ball. Try to ball one off a defender. No call there for a potential handball. They'll say it was inadvertent. And New Bedford there, able to track it down. That's 18, Barboza. Barboza back, played one nicely ahead. Orozco, they'll say he's offside. <clears throat> Ooh, that was close. <laughs> we were looking at the official there. Yeah, I, I don't know Thought if we'll we have that something. on replay, yeah, Chris. that was close. If we do, you can take a look at it. But remember, it's all about, it's all about when the ball is played. Take a Ooh, look. I don't know. I thought, he, I thought he was hanging right there. Uh, but official says no. Thought it was with Fernandes, but nope. Hmm. Ball chested down. Rockton with it. Here near side. Boxers had it taken away. Now New Bedford's number 20, Ramos. Ramos got it ahead of Roscoe. Of Roscoe, and they'll, Brock Brockton will play it. And he got stepped on, on too, sideline. and he looks hurt with his left yeah, he's looking Achilles, at his left. Achilles, like down yeah, below there. Yeah, the back of his heel yep. or Achilles, as you mentioned, Chris. Mm -hmm. Here's New Bedford to play it in. 14, Di Carvalho, Devaney Di Carvalho. And Roscoe is going to come out, Chris. Looks like he's coming to the sideline. Yeah, something. Probably got spiked. Yeah, yeah he's going to come out. Something's bothering him. <laughs> so I don't know if it is his Achilles or not. He threw his shin guard. 
as the trainer comes over to look at. Take a look, Chris, see if we can pick yeah, up we, anything. We're, now we're picking it up late as he went, so I'm not sure if, it, if it's that or not. I could, and, it, and we're waiting for Sanchez to get in. He was sitting on the bench all wrapped up, and coach said to go in and kind of took his time doing it. He's working. The, the trainer is working with his Let's see now if left got something foot. Here. Okay, so he ran pretty good, and then he just kind of came up gimpy, Joe. So There's a cross in front. Ball is loose and then gathered in by Deleuze. They're working on his left leg as if it's a cramp, Chris. You know how you point uh, the toe I back. but I don't think so. It's, yeah, that's, I don't too, think so that's too low, I think, from what I'm seeing. But the Trainer, again, working with, that, yeah. with the toe area, pushing it back. Ball played all the way back. New Bedford trying to get there. They're going to play it to the keeper, keeper Ramos. Ramos played it far side. That's Da Costa, advanced one that's taken by Brockton. Ball stays in play. New Bedford trying to work on that far sideline. Ball goes out of play. It will be New Bedford to play it in. Under three minutes now left in the first half. Scoreless match. This is Silva, number 15. So I don't think they had people yeah, in position they, in they enough were not array. Ready yet. The they official weren't. said, no, I'm not so ready for you to play here yet. I'll start it when I'm ready. Ball played far side. And goes into touch again. This time it'll be Brockton. It looks like Brockton's number 11, Anthony Rodericks, will play it in. Bedford getting back here as we head to the two-minute mark of this first half. Under two minutes now. Brockton playing it ahead. They'll play it middle of the field. That's Brockton's number nine to Peanut. But New Bedford was there, able to clear. Middle of the field, Whalers come up with it. This is Sanchez. Needed to play it there. Had someone running into he space. Tried. Then had it blocked. Yeah, he was trying for Barboza. Oh, yeah, that was a nicely touched ball there. And New Bedford trying to get back. And Ramos has to come out and just boot one. That's yep. a good play there by Ethan Ramos and maybe sets New Bedford up for some transition play here. Here's number 20, Ramos, Ronaldo Ramos for New Bedford. The ball goes out of bounds. Whalers can play it in. Di Carvalho, Delvaney Di Carvalho is number 14. Get it to Ramos. Ramos tries to play it to Sanchez, trying to position himself. Brockton able to clear. They want nothing down here, Joe, with under two minutes. They're just looking to clear it out of the way. Yep, and get to the half scoreless. Official again here. They're saying you're playing it too quickly. And they're saying you need some spacing here. That's Di Carvalho. Ball again put out of play by Brockton. New Bedford's Di Carvalho will come over again. As Ramos crossing in front, but Brockton able to clear. The Costa tried to keep it in got it. on the offensive end of the pitch. It may be a call here, and they'll say yes. Far side of the field, mm -hmm. he's calling, I believe. Let's see if it's a direct. It's going to be from the kick. twenty. Yeah, if it's direct, there's a chance to get one on goal. Well, let's watch as the Costa makes the move here. They get the push, and then he goes. And the official blows the whistle Whoa. and says, "That's it. It's the half." With New Bedford with a free kick and DaCosta in the whole New Bedford side questioning, like, how can you do that? There was time left when the whistle blew. Yeah. But he's saying, no, that's the half. And wow, Chris, you almost you never see that. My. When there's a foul at the end of end of a half, you always see them at least allow the play. Yeah, I mean, he gets the call. And the funny part is it wasn't from the near ref. That that was called from the ref on the other side, so I figured he would take over and control what was going on. No, he doesn't. But the near side official yeah. with the stocking cap on blew the whistle and said, that's it. It's the half. Wow. With a scoring chance and the best scoring chance of the first half as neither team with a shot on goal officially in the first 40 minutes of play. But. 
We are at the half as a result in a match between New Bedford and Brockton that's scoreless. As teams get more and more used to the adjustment in rules, Chris, we thought maybe the scoring and the opportunities would go up, but I think actually they're going down. Yeah. Because you, you understand the limitations of what the other team can do. That's correct. And very, very, very few opportunities at all of anything that you would consider to be dangerous. Uh, really nothing. No shots on goal, a couple of crosses here and there, but without headers, no one really even trying to get to a ball. They have to wait till it comes down and, and nothing happening in that first half. And with the goalkeepers obviously still unrestrained in their play, able to use their hands, it, there's really almost nothing you can do. You, w you really do want to have the ball and attack on the ground in the middle if you can, but I mean, teams are, teams are smart. They just bunch that and don't allow you to get in position to, to, to attack through the middle. And when you try to attack wide, which is what teams do anyway, it's very, very difficult. So the trainer has come over and has gotten some ice, Joe, and he will attach that to Angel Orozco. So I would <clears throat> have to say that his night is over. You would think <clears throat> something yeah. on the back of that left leg lower toward the Achilles, toward the heel. So we was grabbing some ice here. You would think that yep. that probably might be it. About uh, eight minutes remaining here between halves. So we'll take a brief break. When we come back, we'll have second half action for you live here on Facebook and the New Bedford Cable Network. It's New Bedford and Brockton in a scoreless match. I felt accomplished after I got my diploma made me feel that I could take on whatever challenges life throws at you. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. We're back at Andre McCoy Stadium on the campus of New Bedford High School. Ready for second half action between New Bedford and Brockton. Scoreless match. Joe Cabral and Chris Santos with you. And a very evenly played first half, Chris. Yeah, I thought uh, actually Brockton had a little bit more possession, I thought, of the ball in that second period. But really no big damage done. Um, so let's see if second half adjustments come in the way of some turnovers and create something for either team. That was Sanchez, middle of the field, trying to play it past the defender for Brockton, but not able to do so. No shots on goal for either squad in that first half. So not a lot of action. Everything middle of the field, wide to the perimeter, and defended well. And then uh, <coughs> Rodriguez down on that one. He'll draw the foul. So Brockton will get it. Middle of the field, Brockton. Looking for an opportunity here. Going to change the field. Get it to number 18, Mendes. Mendes played it ahead to Rodericks. Rodericks could not get there. And New Bedford's DaCosta tried to clear. Check that. It was not DaCosta. It was Silva. It was put out of play. And now it's New Bedford to play it in. Silva gets it to DaCosta. who just unloads. That's Sanchez, middle of the field. He was fouled. Yeah, he was bumped first, and that's why it hit him in the head. <laughs> exactly, and it was Brockton's yeah. number three, Baptiste, Marion Baptiste, yeah. who was there. So Silva will come up, indirect free kick. And DaCosta. We're going to say it's direct, so he play, able to play it up middle of the field. Brockton with it. Far side of the pitch. New Bedford takes it away. That was Ramos trying to work that sideline. But three Brockton defenders there. And a foul is called. Signaling direct. Again, no indirect. So New Bedford will bring over 
Sanchez, it looks like. Again, this is where you'd like to play it to the far post. Let's see here. The vase might be there too. The officials telling players to separate in the middle of the box. As you can see, they are very tightly packed and they're supposed to be separated, but no one seems to be moving. Yeah, there he goes. Now he's got to move him. He was right on top. Number three, Baptiste on number nine, Sanchez. Here's a ball played to the box. Goes beyond the goal line. They were looking for Tiago Barboza. So it'll be a corner kick for New Bedford. Whalers with it, try to get it to Sanchez into space. Sanchez couldn't get there, and Brockton able to clear. Ramos fanned on it. He did, but Brockton's able to maintain possession. And then they kicked it out of bounds. Yeah, it was Vega, number 22, whiffed on uh, an opportunity, and now New Bedford able to play it in. Pass stolen. Oh. A long shot, long boot, unloading from about 30 yards out. Let's check it here. Just trying anything at yeah. this point. Again, no shots on goal, so players getting a little desperate here. The ball chested down there by New Bedford's Rui Tavares, number eight. Tried to get it ahead. To Barboza, Brockton able to clear near sideline here. That's a steal by Barrows Silva. Had it taken away by Silva. Oh, That's good. a nice play here. Here's a chance, Sanchez, and New Bedford will end up with a corner. Good play by Silva. One to deflect it, then get it through, and then the outside of his foot with his right foot peels it around the defenseman and sends him down, and they'll get a corner out of it. So let's give. Connor Silver, a lot of credit on that play. Here's the corner kick. Again here, to me, it's crashed the far goal post. Not much else you can do. They'll fire. Ball is chested and then Ooh. grabbed there by the goalkeeper, Deleuze. He was tentative to grab it, but then he, he said, hey, wait a minute, they can't head it, so I yeah, can go get exactly, it. Exactly, <laughs> Chris, you nailed it there. I mean, at first, his instincts he are, uh-oh. Uh they're going to head it. But they can't do anything, nope. so you just come out. You're a goalkeeper. You just come out on everything. Yeah. The ball's in the air. You come out on anything. It, it's the risk, very low risk. Silva will play it in for New Bedford, plays it back to the Costa. Brockton attacking the ball here. That's New Bedford's number 18, Barboza. Played it far side. Brockton able to come up with it. They'll play it back. There's a chance here. Sanchez nearly came up with yeah. a steal. I think he's going to get called for a foul. Sure. Sent a Brockton player sprawling. Caden Lopes waiting to check back in for the boxes. Number 14. Yep. Play on here, though, for Brockton. And New Bedford able to clear. Ball played ahead. Brockton's number nine to Pina. Far side. Rodericks sent sprawling. Ball will be called against New Bedford. That was Ronaldo Ramos. With the foul. Yep. Yeah, one touch here, and then Brockton playing it to that far post. Here's a ball curling to the edge of the box, the 18-yard line. But New Bedford able to clear. Lofted to the middle of the field, ed edge of the area. Here's Brockton, a long shot. Hit, hit the, the post. post. Wow. I can't tell if Ramos touched it. That was. And it made it hit the post, but it was a low roll, and it had him. Look in the beat. other way. Chris, take a look at the replay. It's Izzel Deer 
Fernandes. Makes a good one. It gets by the defender, and he has to dive to his left, and it just outside, and it hits the post. Square, wow. square on. Hit that post square on. Yep. So, wow. First chance of the match, and you saw the goalkeeper, Ramos, trying to reach out and get there, and it's hard to tell if he got a little bit of it. At most, he got just a piece. New Bedford and DaCosta just clearing it. Best chance of the match, obviously, as we've said, there's not been much offensively for either squad. Brockton's Mendes, number 18, to play it in. Mendes got it into number 14, Lopes, played it here near side. Was looking for Dapina. Yeah, Jaden Dapina, number nine. Pass was off the mark. A little too far for him. Silva's been going back to the Costa. Let's see if he does it again. That's he does. Con Connor Silva played it back. Yep. Ball played middle of the field. Oh, stepped on it and then. Got away with it. Got away with it, able to move it forward. That's Brockton's Vega, far side. Trying to find an opportunity there. New Bedford back defensively. Whalers just clear it, looking for Sanchez on a long, long ball. Sanchez trying to get there. They're going to play it back to the keeper, Deleuze. New Bedford's got to attack here. Here's a chance with Brockton, not really with a lot of players back. He says, let him play. Play on here, yep. and then it'll be against Brockton. Yep. And that was the right call. So New Bedford here with it. Number 21, Neto. One touch and then try to curl it to the box. They'll get it there. Oh, That's a nicely played ball. Oh. And the bicycle kick <clears throat> just wide. Wow. Barboza on that one. Tiago Barboza. Yeah, I'm definitely going to see the replay here. The bicycle kick on yeah. a ball that was played nicely to the area. Wow. And I just really like the way it was just, you just touched it, Joe. And then he did a nice job of curling it to the inside. And Barboza with a great attempt. And Deleuze with the goal kick now for Brockton. So we've seen a couple of scoring chances here in the first 10 minutes of the second half. After a very quiet first half, one scoring chance for each team as the ball played ahead. And now Brockton with it here near side. Number nine, Depina tried to play it, and Silva was there, and they'll say the infraction against Depina. Here's number 15, Silva, Connor Silva. Ball played ahead. And number eight for New Bedford, Tavares, was tripped up. This will be Tavares to play it. Neto comes over. Yeah, and you need this. This is where you need that, that just that quick touch. So Defenders are pushed back. Quick touch, and then Neto, Neto plays it to the box. Yep. Got to get it up there quickly. That's another nice ball by Neto. He's had a couple here. There's a ball that's running down, and then the edge of the area, Brockton is able to clear. But that's the kind of play you need. Oh, nicely played ahead. But back for New Bedford. And Silva just puts it into touch so Brockton with it Brockton trying to work here quickly before everyone gets back for New Bedford Depina number nine for Brockton and then everyone is the Costa because he was down in the box and he's usually back Mendes and play it ahead New Bedford able to clear A long boot that just will run beyond the sideline about eight minutes to go here in the third period. In this third quarter, one scoring chance for each squad. Silva, oh, very dangerous there. Played it to the 18-yard line. Brockton able to keep the pressure on in the midfield. Play it here near side. Ball goes off of 
New Bedford Silva. Brockton to play it in. Number 18 is Jalen Mendes. And number nine is Jaden DePina. So that's Mendes. Heel curl went to the area. Bounding down, Brockton trying to get there. There was their number two, DePina. Vega was working there to try to go up against number 14, Di Cavallo. And Di Cavallo won that battle. New Bedford able to clear, get it here near sideline. Wheeler's Gomes played it ahead. Brockton's number 21 moving at middle of the field. Lopes for Brockton, played it far side, gets it back. This is Lopes along that sideline looking for Vega. Ball goes beyond the goal line, so it'll be New Bedford with a goal kick. Checking in, number 11, Edson Marino. Number 22, Jeffrey Pires. Goal kick here for New Bedford. Substitutions being completed here now. Oh, DaCosta gave one away here. Unlike him. He whiffed on that opportunity. Gave Brockton a chance here. Brockton trying to work to the edge of the box to get it here near side. That's the Pina. The Pino, he's going to play it back. The Pina. Touch. <clears throat> Tried to get it through the Lopes. Ball goes beyond the sideline. Should be off New Bedford. It is. Brockton will play it in. Number nine is Jaden DePina. Ball chested down. New Bedford with it. Looking for a run there. It was Tavares, and a foul is called against Brockton. 5.20 left here. Third quarter action. Free kick here for New Bedford. Silva looks like he's going to go with a one touch to DaCosta. Oh, there's a ball that's taken away. They took it away from Barboza, but then the goalkeeper, Ramos, able to play it ahead. Middle of the field. There's a ball played nicely. Got it to Moreno. Nice curl there. Moreno's been quiet, here's but here's Barboza. a ball. That's Barboza running got someone on the left one. in had the it, middle. Had a player open in the middle. Could not find an opening to curl one in there. It looked like a handball. Chris, I have been also amazed the fact that there have been no penalty kicks in the matches we've done. No. Nope. We've done the boys three times and the girls the same amount. Yep. And that was outside the area, but that definitely looked like a handball. Well, let's see if we can catch it. Yeah, he flipped it up and said, hey, you got it on there. And then, you know, one official was too far away, and the other one was on the opposite side. There's a ball cleared by <laughs> Vega. That's New Bedford's Da Costa. Tried the volley. And Brockton here comes away with it. Oh, trip from behind. Mm -hmm. Again, higher levels. That's a yellow card. Ruben Barboza. Gets called for that one. Number seven. They let the play go much more in high school sports, but a play like that from behind, that easily would have been a yellow card at the professional level as the ball played ahead. The cost of chesting one. Oh, good move. Brockton trying to get man open middle of the pitch. Here we go near side. That's Mendes. Mendes tried to go to the sideline. Had it taken away. Brockton retreating here. Wow. Wow. Sanchez comes away with it. Sanchez. <clears throat> oh, he lost it. Finally tracked down from behind. By Brandeo. And it'll be New Bedford, though, with a free kick. So, again, just 
really too far to strike one on goal to score, but certainly if you yeah, can get enough here, space. This one you might be able to go far corner yeah, with this curl, one. You could maybe curl one. Yeah. Your problem is they're not positioning the, the players to do so. Mm -hmm. you, you need the, the right-footed player standing closer toward the sideline and, and deeper in. You would need number eight here, Tavares, to do the one touch. It looks like they're going to go a one touch to Tavares instead. The officials tell them they got to get back. Here we go. Might be able to curl one here. Yeah, again, I, I think the, can, mm -hmm. the alignment here for New Bedford is going to prevent much of that. And here comes... A uh, ball is lofted way over the net. <clears throat> hit the hit the. I think it hit the goalpost in the back, Chris. It did. Under two minutes left now here in the third quarter. Goal kick for Brockton and Brandon Deleuze. Checking in is Rog Ansley Richard, number sixteen. Is the ball played far side? Don't see too many names, first names with a hyphen in it. No. But this one is. <clears throat> New Bedford with the free kick. <clears throat> Probably one more possession here before the end of this quarter. You would think. Ball played yeah. ahead. Sanchez is trying to position himself to be able to get there. Could not. He'll play it back to Deleuze. And Brockton's goalkeeper plays it way up beyond the midfield stripe. Brockton with possession here, far side of the pitch. They'll play one ahead. Player tripped. The referee says nope, play on. Play. No, no trip there. They'll just say it was incidental. Here near side, looking to get it to Rodericks. Raul Rodericks, number eight, could not get it there. The ball but, flipped up. Yellow card comes out for oh, number yeah. 11. And Moreno. Edson Moreno. Must have been some, some type of dialogue here from Moreno. He has to check out. When you get a yellow card, you have to check out. You're not uh, ejected, but yep. you have to check out for at least a period of time. Here goes Brockton with a chance here. Oh, ball that's played and just allowed to run beyond the goal line. That was Brindow, Helton Brindow. And that'll do it yep. for the third quarter. A match that remains scoreless after three quarters of play. New Bedford and Brockton here at Andre McCoy Stadium. And each team had one legitimate scoring chance, Chris, in that third quarter. Yeah, they did. And a couple of <clears throat> other opportunities just cannot get through one more defender, let's say, and get a good shot on goal. So both defenses... Picking up the slack when some opportunities arise. And right now, it's a matter of who's got the better condition and maybe in stamina here in the fourth to not let something easy like that happen and, and give some, something back to the other team. And hopefully, um, you know, for New Bedford's sake, they can get one and get one in here in the fourth. 20 minutes of high school soccer remaining. And Chris and I tomorrow will be at the Beardsworth Gonzalez Gymnasium as New Bedford, the Lady Whalers, meet West Bridgewater in girls high school volleyball action. And there are some modified rules in volleyball as well, Chris. So we'll bring those to our viewers tomorrow. If you'd like to tune in live on Facebook, Tentative start is 5.15, so I would say get on a bit earlier than that, but that's when we are scheduled to start. The match between West Bridgewater and the Lady Whalers of New Bedford High. No blocking allowed, among other things, and a distance away from the net mandated as part of the rules, but no blocking allowed, so you can see how that would really change that game. Yeah, and, and uh, it'll be interesting to see how the teams uh, react to that. And obviously the height advantage for one team compared to another, 
doesn't come to effect defensively because no. you can't go up and make the block. You cannot block. And again, there is a line away from the net that you cannot go beyond that to the net. So certainly something we're going to have to adjust to in calling the match tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. But again, I've, I've heard that the, those rule changes in talking to some who have played. And uh, we will see. But certainly has been a different world here in 2020. As we saw last night in game six of the World Series, all yep. of a sudden, middle of the game, Justin Turner is taken out. And you're like, he's, one of, their, he's one of their better players. Yep. And how can they be taking Justin Turner out? He must be injured or something. Mm -hmm. And then we find out later, tested positive for COVID-19. And middle of the game had to be taken out. Yeah, but and came back in the ceremony on the field, took pitches, and was seen hugging players and teammates. Yeah. Let's see if that turns into some kind of fine or uh, something against him. Because I don't think that should have been happening. So here we go, fourth quarter. Well, most of this game, Joe, has been played between the 20 and the 20, so... Not a lot of action, but. Here's a direct, uh, oh, it looks like an indirect, but it is straight on. This is one that you could try to get on goal. The official here is saying back up. Mm -hmm. He's calling it indirect, so it looks like DaCosta is going to go no. with the one touch. And then a ball that's booted, and it goes above the crossbar. And I know that you see uh, one or two of the assistant coaches on the sideline for New Bedford may be a bit frustrated. You don't want it to go out of play, but as far as striking it toward goal, I mean, you get so few chances. You have to and just hope that maybe a ball squeaks through, something is bobbled. You have to get shots on goal. Wayne Gretzky is famous for saying you don't score 100% on the shots that don't get on net. No. And that's always, that's always been the case. It will <laughs> always be the case. So another free kick for New Bedford here. They've been getting quite a few here in the yes, second half. There's another ball driven low, and that's what you need. Ooh. That was nice. Yep. That was lower. It's still in the air, but if you can get it past the initial wave of defenders, lower is a little better, kind of like a line drive as opposed to New Bedford with a player down holding a leg here. Let's see who it is, Chris. Well, they're both up, and obviously it's Neto number, was the one, but... Number 21, they, Luis, yeah, Luis he Neto. He got banged into, everyone was banging in there, was 13 barrows from Brockton, but... Here's the cost of New Bedford, and again, like that kind of ball, there's a ball that gets into the area. Can't control it. That was Moreno, it. could not control it. What do you call it, Dangerous. Dangerous play. Yeah. You're really caught. You can't use your head. You put your foot up high, and dangerous play is called. Yeah. Let's watch it here by number 11. Moreno. And that was the call. Whew. Brockton plays at far side. That was a very dangerous chance there. I will admit, though, the officials have been on, on top of everything. Here's a ball. They're trying to change the field here. This is dangerous. They'll get a ball to number eight, to Pina. He went back Works, inside. Yeah, went back inside. And a lot of questionable decision making. That was uh, Brockton's Vega. Now they'll play it middle of the field. Work far side. There was a ball that was headed, and New Bedford immediately with the uh, up raised hand to say that's not something you can do. As Connor Silva runs to get one of the balls. Bedford will play it here, middle of the field. That's 
But Boza play it ahead, looking for someone in space. Ball runs to the <laughs> edge over of the, the area, and let's see. He's over the line, Joe. He's going to call he a penalty He was over, kick. and he knew it right away. Let's see here. That he, should be. No. He, it was, he was outside the box? No, it's outside the box, so it's going to be a direct free yep. kick yep. just outside the 18-yard line. Yep. He knew it right away, Joey. Watch it, see on the replay. He just, and then he picked it up and he looked at the official and went, oh my gosh, I'm over the line. So that's a handball. Yeah, the Goalkeeper. best opportunity is right now for New Bedford. Just outside the 18 it's, yard line. I think Bob Bose is going to take this one. And so the question here is New Bedford's got to, has to find a way here to. Get a shot on goal, and Brockton's going to try to really abuse this here. Yep. And so New Bedford should bluff a few times, in my opinion, yep. Chris, to the ball to get Brockton to run out and get the officials to say, wait a minute, yep. you can't do that. Sure. Because this is a direct free kick from the 18-and-a-half yard line, just outside the box. So as you mentioned, Deleuze saw right away that he was beyond the line. Let's Bedford see. With multiple players positioned here. And here we go. The cost of, is a ball that struck and blocked oh, in and front. And they want a handball. And, they want a and hand they're going to get the handball. they hand are ball. going to get it. Yes, they are. That was Barboza who drilled one. Chris, look at the replay here. See who came up with it's the handball. It's going to be kind of be tough. Just a crowd of players yeah, it was a lot. They jumped up through. It was really difficult to tell, but they're going to be awarded. Let's see who's going to take it. Penalty kick. That was Barboza who struck one. <laughs> Let's see here. I guess it is Barboza, Tiago. Yeah, he struck that one well, so yep. they're going to give him the penalty kick wow. against Deleuze. Here goes Tiago Barboza. Strikes one. Oh, he missed. Oh, and he missed it he wide. He missed the net. Oh, you can't do that under any circumstances. Oof. Oh, wow. my goodness. And he scuffed it. It was not even nope. that well struck. Let's watch it on the replay. He charges quickly. He doesn't waste no time. I think he would have had him. Oh. And I, I mean, Deleuze went that way, but I think the ball was too fast. He just flat out missed it. Missed it, clearly. Wow. Wow. Never going to get a better chance. Well, Joe, than that. you talked about it. You gave the jinx and said, hey, we haven't seen one. Well, guess what? We it saw just one. saw one. But they did not convert. One of the tricks that if you know the goaltender's going to dive, yep. you're confident he is, you just play it in the middle. Yeah. He comes off his line, you play it in the middle, you can't miss the net. When you try to pick a corner, there's always a danger that you miss. And he guessed the right side. The goalkeeper was there. He saw the approach. And remember, as a keeper, you're guessing. You're looking and trying to judge the approach of the player coming to the ball. Here's a ball played ahead. And this is Moreno. Could not get there. And Brockton able to clear all of a sudden, New Bedford with some scoring chances here. Near side, nice touch. That's Brockton's Vega, number 22. Here it comes near side, Depina for Brockton. But a foul was called against New Bedford. Oh, the Whalers. Wow. Golden opportunity. Two of them. The first one, the blast, and it got the handball, and then the second one, just a missed penalty kick. Touch pass there. Is the ball played ahead? New Bedford playing it here, near side. Brockton trying to Ooh, that's dangerous. maintain a defensive posture here. Deleuze got rid of it just in time. Gets it to Lopes. Give and go here to Pina, now looking for Lopes. Whalers have had the better play of it here in this fourth quarter. Looking for number 21, Neto, could not get there. Brockton with it, middle of the field. Playing it near side, looking for Depina. Under 12 minutes in this one. Golden scoring opportunities for New Bedford. And a foul here on the near side. Is number 17, Morera was tripped up. Ball stolen here. 
And then a foul is called against Brockton. So DaCosta rushes up quickly to get on it. We're gonna just touch it and get it to DaCosta. He's gonna play a, a ball looking for Moreno. They say he was onside. Yep. Here's one handled by Ramos. Ronaldo Ramos, number 19. Some fancy dribbling, but eventually it is taken away. That was Brendeau. <laughs> and now New Bedford's number 19, Ramos. Playing it ahead to the edge of the area. Ball chested down. Barboza trying to get there. They're going to say... Corner? Corner yep. kick. A lot more balls going into space, though, Joe. You seen it? Yeah, a fatigue, bit more? I think, taking a, its toll, Chris. Yeah. I think with some fatigue, players not getting as many players getting back. And defense always... A bit more of a question. There's a ball nicely lofted far side Ooh, and grabbed by, Deleuze. by the keeper, Deleuze. Yeah. And again, go get in, it. inability to go there with, with the header allows Deleuze to get there in front of several players and come up with it. Ball played here near side. Vega. Middle of the field. Now Brockton again with possession and going back here a bit. Rendell played it far side. That's number 13, Barros. Brockton here. Working that far sideline. Barros got it back. There's a long shot drilled well over the crossbar and wide. Brockton with a host of substitutions. 14. Lopes, among others, back in. Nine fifteen left. Scoreless match. Andre McCoy Stadium, New Bedford and Brockton. Brandon Deleuze, the goalkeeper, to handle the goal kick here. Uh, check that, New Bedford. And Ethan Ramos handling the goal kick. Plays it ahead. Middle of the field. New Bedford there. Can send it up if he Here's wants. Sanchez. There it is. Tries to curl one into space looking for Barboza. Could not get it there. Yeah, just a well, lot tougher on the turf, Joe, to really slow the ball slow up. Slow the ball, I know. It, yeah. It's hard. When you play it into space, very yeah. hard to slow it up. There's a shot across here actually just off the mark. But you are right, Chris, here in this fourth quarter. Definitely more space available on the mm -hmm. offensive side of things for both squads. That time Brockton had some space. They were looking here near side. Pass was a bit too strong. Found a chest one down. That was Mendy's for Brockton. It'll be New Bedford with the possession here. <laughs> Moreno. Official giving instruction here. Moreno just played it and it was a giveaway. Back here near side, looking for Moreno. Ball was taken away. Richard, Raj Richard, number 16, will play it in for Brockton. Under seven and a half minutes now. Plays it to Reynoso. Reynoso ahead looking for Morera. And it just runs on the goalkeeper and taken easily by Ramos. Ramos plays it middle of the field. On the drop kick. And now New Bedford, and that Sanchez came up with it. Came back for it. The work far side of the field. Under seven minutes left in this one. Oh, that was a ball nicely played to Sanchez. He goes tumbling down, yep. calling for a foul. He's going to get it. At the 20. Here's another ball that you can play. And he's not going to like the call. You're going to watch it here. I think it was going to call on Baptiste. And he's not happy about it, but official made the call. Sanchez. So once again, we'll have to back him up. 30 yards from goal here. Let's see how they decide to play it. Again, you've got to try to see if you can strike balls on goal here. Mm -hmm. So you're looking, there's no wall to be formed. It has to be at least 10 feet away. And 
there are Brockton players kind of together, not officially making a wall, but you're not supposed to be able to make a wall. And you see players charging out there, and yeah. the officials really have to, since it's indirect. You had to bluff several times if you're in New Bedford here. As, as soon Brockton as you touch it, they're going to run. And you got to get rid of it quickly. As the ball is. gets loose into the area. Chance there for Moreno. And he could not get it in front. And actually, it was Barboza again. Check that. It was 10, yep. Barboza. Turns into a corner. He's had three chances here yep. in this second half. Late sub coming in. Ronaldo Ramos taking in, coming in for somebody. Ronaldo Ramos, number 20, mm -hmm. checking in. And corner kick for New Bedford. It'll look to the far side post, I would imagine. A little bit slow here in developing this and going backwards. Never like that. Yeah. Never like that. Yeah, once Silva passed it back to the Costa, he needed to put that inside the box, and he didn't. And now Silva plays it back to the keeper, Ramos. He gets rid of it. Has a big leg, Ethan Ramos. There's Got a, three numbers. on three here for New Bedford. They try to play it far side. Ball breaks in their favor. Barboza. Barboza running it on that far sideline. Had it taken away. Are they going to call a foul here? Yeah. And they're going to call a foul. So Barboza, again with an opportunity. Yeah, says so he clipped him from underneath, and, not, and it absolutely is the right call there. And you'll see here, free kick. For New Bedford, it looks like it's indirect. Bedford bringing two of their defenders up. Is a ball crossed to the Ooh. area, chested down, and Brockton able to clear. Here near side, ball put into touch. Thought he was going to attempt to maybe step on it, Joe, stop it and go back. But he decided not to, kicked it out of bounds instead. Under four minutes, almost three and a half now. Three and a half here this remaining. One. Ball middle of the field, New Bedford with it. More scoring opportunities in this second half than what we saw in the first half, yeah. but still uh, the best, certainly, the Penalty kick and well, New Bedford unable to connect. It's been all New Bedford here, I believe, in this fourth. They've dominated the period. They just can't find a way to get one home. Is a Mario Ramos, number 19 for New Bedford. Now ball comes here running near side. They're going to play it ahead, looking to see if they can run on one right at the edge of the box. It's Ethan Ramos able to come off his line. Far side of the pitch. Ball goes beyond the sideline. Brockton to play it in. Just over two and a half minutes left here. Ball headed right toward the keeper. Ramos easily handled there. He's used the drop kick here most of the day, and he'll do so again. Didn't get a lot on it Not this that time. One. Whiffed on it. Ball chested down by Brockton. And that'll be a foul call against New Bedford, I think. No, they'll say against Brockton. New Bedford's Pyres, number 22, plays it ahead. And the official will say, indirect kick. Can't play it in the air like that. Very hard to get used to the rule adjustments for some. And just instinctively, you play the game as you always have. So here we go. Brockton ends up with an indirect kick instead. They get it to Lopes. He fires a shot for the far post. It got through, too. It got through, Chris. You're right. But it went wide. And he kept it low enough. It was, it was at the height where he, it could have been a goal. Yeah. Let's watch as it goes through. I mean, it just was from left to right. 
and it peeled off, but the point that it went through. A little bit of an outswinger there. Well, Brockton just ran onto a ball that was a goal <laughs> kick and put it in the net. Yep. I wonder if the official's going to say anything here. I think he's saying he touched the ball, but yep. the official's going to say no. So here comes the Costa getting in play. And then you saw there from Ramos, and they went. That's what he was arguing, yeah. that that's what they had done. They had touched it. The ball played beyond the goal line. So, again, a goal kick for New Bedford. The goalie does tap the ball, Joe. See, he just touches it right there. And then Ethan uh, kind of waits, and the player came in. So, yeah. Fortunate. Interesting. I guess he's fortunate they didn't call it the right way. Yeah, I think it's you know the official there with some good judgment, right. knowing that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let a play like that with just some misunderstanding end up deciding a, a match. Right. That's gonna end it. That's gonna do it, Chris. Well, a a, a tough break for New Bedford because I thought, like I said, they dominated this fourth period. And obviously led by that big opportunity on the penalty shot. And they just could not put it away. And for them, this will come as a tie in a 0-0 zero, zero match. So New Bedford will improve to 4-1-3. and three, Brockton to 0-2-2. Oh, two, two. So New Bedford wins the first one against Brockton this year. 2-1. Now nil-nil draw between New Bedford and Brockton. Whalers did have the better of it in the second half, and especially in that fourth quarter, as you mentioned, Chris, with a couple of opportunities. Then the miscue goal here that, that Brockton uh, claims there was, a, with, there was a touch. Yeah, you're going to watch Ramis right here. Uh, well, if we go back, he, he did just tap it on top, but I think the ref was trying to set everybody up and get everybody. That doesn't mean that that defender was where he wanted him to be. Exactly. So, uh, I think that that's how that's just let yeah, go through. And regardless, it's like one of those <laughs> things. You, you don't want to go by the letter of the law. Someone's trying to inbound in basketball and, you know, their foot's above the line technically. And, yep. and you say, well, that's a violation. You give it to the other team with a chance to win the game. I mean, you, you try to stay away from those types of things. Right, goals. right. So that'll do it from Andre McCoy Stadium on the campus of New Bedford High School. With a score for a final time, it was New Bedford and Brockton in a nil-nil draw. For my partner, Chris Santos, all of our staff here at the New Bedford Cable Network, I'm Joe Cabral. Join us tomorrow at 5.15 on Facebook Live or obviously on tape on the New Bedford Cable Network as we bring to you girls' high school volleyball action, the New Bedford High Whalers taking on West Bridgewater. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Have a good night, everyone. Good evening, everyone.